My name is Frances Perkins. You may know me as the first woman to hold a cabinet post. What you may not know, however, is how I got there. After my graduation from Mount Holly in 1902, I accepted a series of teaching positions and volunteered my time at settlement houses. This is where I learned firsthand the dangerous conditions of factory work and the desperation of workers unable to collect their promised wages and secure medical care for workplace injuries. In 1909, I had given up teaching science and moved to New York to study at Columbia University. For the next two years, I served as the secretary of the New York Consumers League. One of the pivotal experiences of my political life occurred in 1911, when I watched helplessly as 146 workers died in a triangle shirtwaist fire. Before their death, many clasped their hands in prayer before leaping to their death. It seared on my mind, as well as my heart, a never-to-be-forgotten reminder of why I had to spend my life fighting conditions that could permit such a tragedy. In 1918, I accepted Government Alice Smith's invitation to join the New York State Industrial Commission. During this time, I became the first female member of commission in 1929 under our new governor, Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt. He appointed me Industrial Commissioner of the State of New York. During this time, I reduced the work week for women to only 48 hours. Not only did I have a large amount of ambitions for myself, but also for the world that I lived in. My vision found concrete expression in such landmark reforms such as the Wagner Act and the Fair, Lab Fair Labor Standard Act. During the 1930s and 1940s, I constantly supported the rights of workers to organize unions of their own choosing. In 1945, I was resigned from a position as Labor Secretary to the head to the U.S. delegation the, to the International Labor Organization Confederates in Paris. Thank you very much.